patient is placed in supine position under general anesthesia and this is the team setup 10 mm port is inserted through the umbilicus using direct trocar insertion many surgeons use open technique or varies needle or optical port depending on individual choice pneumoperitoneum is created to 12 to 13 mm of mercury you can go up till 15 mm of mercury there is no evidence that low pressure adds safety under vision 10 mm epigastric port is placed just below the zephy sternum onto the right side of the falciform ligament third 5 mm trocar is placed 2 cm below the right coastal margin in the mid clavicular line and the fourth one in anterior axillary line at the level of umbilicus. This is the final port placement. Exposure of the porta hepatis is obtained by elevating the call bladder in the liver and pushing it towards the right upper shoulder using ratcheted grasper which is then handed over to the scrub nurse. Patient is then placed in the reverse Trendelenburg position with 30 degree right side up. Dissection is always done above the rubia sulcus and that's the rubia sulcus. The peritoneum is torn between the gallbladder and the periportal fat. Peritoneum is teased towards the CBD. Complete dissection of callus triangle is achieved by stripping the peritoneum and cautery dividing the fat and lymphatics. That's the CBD and it is not necessary to divide the cystic duct down to the junction of CBD. By pushing the infundibulum medially, the peritoneum is further stripped off the gallbladder and cystic duct. Again, it's very important to remain above the rubia sulcus, which lies in the same plane as CBD. And if one remains above rubia sulcus, it's very unlikely that one can damage CBD. After adequate pedunculation of gallbladder, only two structures should be seen entering the gallbladder, which is the critical view of safety. The artery is first clipped and divided because it gives extra length to the cystic duct, especially if it is short. Hook is used to achieve separation of the gallbladder from the cystic plate. Gallbladder is removed using lion's jaw grasper, holding the cystic duct end to prevent spillage of bile. Port dilator may be used to facilitate gallbladder removal. 